Thailand Outlook. สวัสดีครับ Welcome to another episode of Informative Thailand Outlook. I'm k a j a n g w i t a c h i t Today we bring you the latest news and initiatives shaping the country. We will explore how Thailand's music industry is being reimagined for global success, new partnerships in the agri-food sector, and an exciting vintage tourism train schedule for the peak travel session. Let's get started. And we begin today's episode with a look at an exciting new initiative to elevate Thailand's music industry on the global stage. The uh, Creative Economy Agency, or CEA, has joined forces with the National Soft Power Strategy Committee to launch the Push and Pull Strategy. And this aimed at enhancing Thailand's presence in the global music scene. Part of the CEA's music exchange project, the strategy will. Uh, focus on showcasing Thai artists at international music festivals, and fostering networking opportunities with international industry professionals. The initiative is expected to facilitate over 70 performances by 48 Thai artists at 46 global festivals, reaching a potential audience of roughly 34.9 million people. And uh, this strategy is not only about promoting Thai music, but also. About establishing Thailand as a key player in the global music industry. Our next story highlights a significant boost in Ireland-Thailand agri-food relations, with promising opportunities for both nations. Ireland's agri-food agency、uh, Board Bia is looking to、uh, strengthen its partnerships with Thailand following a successful trade mission. Um, led by Ireland Minister of State for Agriculture, Irish dairy exports to our country have surged recently, climbing from 24 million pounds in 2019 to、uh, 54.9 million pounds in、uh, 2023, with additional growth in seafood exports. The mission really emphasized expanding business opportunities and solidifying Ireland's role as a key player in Thailand's food market. And、this collaboration is expected to increase Irish food exports further,、um, catering to Thailand's growing demand for quality dairy and seafood products. And for our final story today, a nostalgic journey awaits as Thailand's transport ministry unveils a new train schedule designed to captivate vintage tourism enthusiasts. From October to February. Three types of、uh, tourism trains will run scenic routes across Thailand, and these include the luxurious Royal Blossom, the classic Kia 183, and historic steam locomotives from World War II era. Now you can choose between day trips or overnight stays, with each train offering a unique experience. Notable journeys include trips to the province of Ayutthaya on Chuk La Long on Memorial Day on October 23rd, and to Chat Chung Sao on Father's Day,、uh, December 5th, aboard the World War II steam locomotives.、And、these special services、um, aim to promote domestic tourism while providing an unforgettable glimpse into Thailand's railway heritage. And that's it for today's episode of Thailand Outlook. Thank you for joining us as we explore Thailand's efforts to transform its music industry, forge new agri-food partnerships, and promote local tourism through vintage train journeys. And I will see you again on the next episode of Thailand Outlook. I'm Katang Wit Dati. Sorry, crap. Bringing peace to the south is also about bringing it prosperity. As lifting its impoverished residents up to a better life will inspire harmony. Addressing the issue of poverty in the southern provinces, the Southern Border Provinces Development Strategy Committee passed a framework for the integration of poverty remedial efforts for people of all ages with sustainability through the sufficiency economy philosophy. The four-year plan. Runs from 2024 to 2028, and is based on an assessment 
of 52,117 households, evaluated as below the poverty line. The households account for 107,356 residents of the South. In its first phase, the endeavor will seek to uplift 14,500 households or 30,000 people, aiding them to move beyond destitution by the year 2028. Surveys of these households found that most want assistance in the form of career aid and skill training. From the total, 10,136 work outside of agriculture, while 4,603 work within the agro sector, with 3,770 farming crops, 316 working with fish, and 517 working with livestock. Many are also electricians and beauticians. Over 3,600 were noted for being parts of vulnerable groups in need of urgent aid. Some 38,800 are in dilapidated homes or lack basic infrastructure such as plumbing or power. All of their needs are being considered as part of the effort. The Southern Border Provinces Administrative Center, or SBPAC, has been made the central body for coordinating the program which will seek to bring together different agencies to point the way towards occupations and income for those selected. Mainly, participants in the project will be supported to engage in the farming of durian and mangosteen on State Railway of Thailand land. Others will grow crops for energy production and animal feed or tend to livestock such as cows, chickens, and goats, or engage in aquaculture, growing crabs. Those with base skills will be aided to actualize their abilities, such as cooking or tour guiding. For those unable to engage in the mentioned jobs, they will be presented for employment at factories both within and beyond the South. Respecting and uplifting its own local identities and cultural heritage as well as the traditions of its regional neighbors, Thailand is helping to reinforce the ASEAN identity. Understanding that the identity of ASEAN results from all of its member nations combined, Thailand celebrates both the common traits that bind the members of ASEAN and the unique practices that distinguish each. Through warmth, showers, and cool breezes, Thailand can be traveled year-round. Visit our beaches when the sun is out, see the mist cover our mountains once the rain set in, or strike up camp when temperatures drop. From adventures to cultural experiences, there is no low season in Thailand, and visitors can find enriching fun throughout the year.